Please let me know whether my screen is visible or not. Yes, sir, visible. Okay, thank you. Uh, in previous class, uh, we have started with the first module that is uh, introduction to kinematics of machines. In that, uh, we have discussed uh, the what is the syllabus of kinematics of machines, uh, starting from module one to module five. Okay, and. Uh, and we have started the first module that is introduction to kinematics of machines and in that first we have discussed what is the theory of machines which is nothing but uh, study of uh, relative motion between various parts of a machine and also the forces acting on that right so this is the theory of machines and uh, we have discussed uh, the classification of theory of machines there are two classifications uh, starting from dynamics and kinematics okay if you are going to study only the forces acting on the uh, mechanism or a machine then it comes under dynamics okay if you consider only relative motion between different parts uh, of a machine it comes under kinematics again dynamics has two parts one is kinetics and statics the study of a uh, motion of a body when it is uh, under rest it is called as a statics in the same manner the study of forces acting on the body when the body is in motion it, it comes under kinetics okay it was the classification of dynamics that is kinetics and statics for your syllabus this part is the kinematics of machines okay in which only you are going to study the relative motion between different parts already this one we have discussed in the previous class okay and uh, we have considered the analogy between uh, a human body and a machine Okay. It means a machine is made of so many mechanisms. The mechanism is made of so many kinematic chains, and again the kinematic chain is made of so many kinematic pairs, and kinematic chain pairs is made of so many kinematic links. And in that, we have considered this one. The first we have started with this one, that is kinematic link. So, so this is the kinematic link. The definition of this kinematic link is a, uh, it is a. Uh, is a part of a machine you can if you consider this as a machine you can consider any one part out of these four parts that is cylinder piston connecting rod crank so these are the part of machines which are having a relative motion with respect to other machine parts so i can call individually so this cylinder is nothing but this one this is a cylinder block this is a connecting rod this is a piston this is a crankshaft individually i can call these parts as kinematic link okay and if you want to call these uh, Uh, parts as a kinematic link there should be two conditions which has which has to be satisfied first one is it should have a relative motion with respect to other links okay and also it should be able to transfer the force or the energy from one point to another point these are the two conditions which should be satisfied then only you can call these parts as a kinematic link so this was also cleared in uh, the previous uh, class after that Uh, we have discussed the different types of kinematic link first one is a rigid link okay i have given the example of a connecting rod if the link is having a, a negligible deformation if the body is not going to undergo any deformation such links are called as uh, rigid links okay examples connecting rod and crank in second one is uh, a flexible link when you consider a, a chain drive or a belt drive or rope drive so this chain drive will undergo partial deformation while transferring the force or the motion from one point to another point so such links which undergo a partial deformation will call those link as a flexible link okay examples belt drives rope drives and chain drives last one is a fluid link okay i consider the example of a dump truck in which there is a telescopic cylinder which is used to unload the sand or any uh, components present in the dump truck okay so this is going to extend and retract with help of a high pressure hydraulic oil so i can call that hydraulic oil as a link but in this case a fluid link okay it means the motion is transmitted with the help of a high pressure fluid okay so these are example of hydraulic press hydraulic brakes or jacks okay so this comes under a fluid link okay this was completed in the previous class and uh, let me start with uh, the next one 
the next uh, stage of a uh, uh, can say a machine after kinematic links that comes is a kinematic page okay please note down this heading that is a kinematic page again i'll consider a mechanism okay so this come this comes under a machine called as a bike okay if you can see if you are going to consider the bike as a machine under that there are so many mechanisms okay so this is a power developing mechanism this is called as ic engine okay and already i said that there are uh, different parts cylinder piston connecting rod crank they are called as kinematic link or kinematic element okay so then what is the kinematic page okay what is a kinematic page when you are going to connect two links for example you are connecting a cylinder and a piston okay so i can call that that pair as a kinematic page okay it means when two kinematic links or elements of a machine are connected together in such a way that the relative motion is either completely constrained or successfully constrained okay so these two links are said to be kinematic pair okay i'll explain what is this constrained completely constrained or successfully constrained okay so example is uh, ic engine okay it means the piston is sliding inside the cylinder okay so together the cylinder and piston i can call it as a one pair one kinematic pair similarly uh, this piston is connected to connecting rod correct so with the help of a pin joint so i can call the combination of the piston and the connecting rod as one more pair second pair and similarly uh, connecting rod is connected to crank correct the link 3 you can see this one connecting rod link 3 is connected to link 4 so i can call the combination of these two links as one more kinematic pair okay so and also this crank will be connected to the frame a fixed link so it is having four kinematic pairs okay it is having four kinematic pairs then what is the word called it is a completely constrained or successfully constrained okay uh, for example uh, i'll consider a, a fan okay uh, the fan is manufactured to rotate it means uh, the fan is uh, restricted to rotate it cannot move up and down correct you can consider a ceiling fan okay so the function of that fan is to rotate so that it can get a cold air so it is restricted or it is constrained to rotate only it cannot move up and down okay i'll consider one more example uh, that is a uh, train the train will uh, run or uh, it will move in a in a forward direction or backward direction with respect to the railway track okay suddenly it cannot uh, take a left turn or right turn the train is restricted to move on the railway track correct so it cannot rotate it cannot take a left turn right turn whenever uh, required it has to move on the track it cannot go on the road okay it means the word constrained means restricted please note down constrained means restricted in this case you can see the piston is restricted to move either only towards left or towards right the piston cannot rotate remember okay it means when you want to when you, whenever you want to call a kinematic pair there should be a combination of two links such a way that they should be having a restricted motion or constrained motion this word is important okay please take down constrained means restricted or uh, moving in a definite path correct so so this is the definition of kinematic pair any doubts please ask otherwise uh, i'll go to the classification of kinematic pair okay simply you can call a combination of two links in such a way that their relative motion is restricted or constrained in a definite path such combination of links i can call it as a kinematic pair okay so then i'll go to the types of kinematic pair correct please take the heading as a uh, types of kinematic pair i'll give one minute time please uh, write down these classifications okay so that you will not get boring you should be involved in the class so please write down the headings i'll give the detailed notes but please take down the classification of kinematic pair okay the first criteria and based on two criterias i am going to divide first one is based on the type of relative motion between kinematic links okay so when you are going to consider a pair it will be having two links correct and those two links having which kind of motion whether they are turning whether they are uh, rolling 
okay that they are sliding based on the relative motion between those two links or kinematic elements so i can classify into five types okay first one is a sliding pair second one is a turning pair third one is a rolling pair fourth one is a, fourth one is a screw pair and finally spherical pair okay the next slides i'll explain in detail with the help of animations so please take down these five types and the second criteria is uh, based on the type of contact between two kinematic links okay so what is the type of contact between two links based on that so i can say the kinematic pair as a lower pair if it is having a surface contact i can say that kinematic pair as a higher pair if it is having a point or line contact okay please take another uh, 30 seconds please note on this First, I'll start with uh, this one, sliding pair, based on the type of relative motion between two kinematic links. I'll start from this one. I'll try to complete all these uh, uh, seven types of uh, kinematic pairs. Okay. Shall I start? So, shall I start with this one, sliding pair? Anyone, please reply. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. Okay. First, uh, first one is sliding pair. Just try to observe uh, this animation. Okay, so you can call this as a moonwalk, right? Moonwalk. And what is the type of contact between the uh, these uh, shoes and the earth? It is a surface contact. Okay. And one more, you can say this example. So he is sliding, no? Sliding. Means in the first image also he is sliding. He is not rolling at all. With respect to the earth surface. he is sliding in a backward direction in the second case also he is the person the this kid is uh, sliding in a downward direction okay he is not rolling at all he is not turning at all and one more is uh, here you can say uh, ice skating you can say so here also it is a kind of sliding motion it is a kind of sliding motion then i'll go to this uh, iron box okay so this also a sliding motion correct and uh, i'll consider a uh, two links in such a way that the first in this red color is a square block okay this red color is a square block and it is having a square hole okay so this is a square hole okay uh, and inside this square hole i'm going to insert a shaft this is having a square cross section so i can call it as a square bar also so this is one link you can call it as a, a link a and this uh, green color as link b okay so so you can imagine that so this square bar can only slide it can only slide with respect to this square block it cannot rotate because the cross section area of the hole and as well as the cross section of this uh, square bar or shaft is a square it is not a round it is not circle it means it can only slide with respect to the square block okay so this is also an example of a sliding pair okay so this is the side b so this is a uh, isometric b when this is a side b okay so this is the front view we can say how it looks so this is the blue color the hatch portion is a square block and this uh, red color is nothing but a square bar and this is the side b. it means the square bar can only slide it cannot rotate then how can you define a sliding pair okay so when two elements when two elements are kinematic links of a pair are connected in such a way that one link can only slide with respect to another link so such pair i can call it as a such combination of two links i can call it as a sliding pair okay so if you want please note down our definition please write down this so that it will be convenient for you okay so better i can uh, yeah okay 
to this. So based on the first criteria, that is according to the type of relative motion between uh, two kinematic links, the first one is a sliding pick. Okay. Please take up this. So when the two elements are kinematic links of a pair, they are connected in such a way that one link can only slide with respect to another link. So such pair is known as a sliding pair. Okay. Example is uh, a piston sliding inside a cylinder. So that is also a kinematic pair. But in this case, it is a sliding pair. Because the piston can only slide. It cannot rotate with respect to the cylinder. And when you consider a lathe machine, the tailstock is sliding on the guide base of a lathe belt. Okay. Lathe machine uh, will be having a guide base. Okay. And it will be the tailstock will be sliding with respect to the guide base towards left and right. It means the degrees of freedom of this sliding pair is one. It will be having only one linear motion along the x-axis. Okay, there is no movement in the y-axis. There is no movement in z-axis. It cannot rotate also. It means the degrees of freedom of a sliding pair is one. Okay, first take this definition. The two elements of a pair are connected in such a way that one link can only slide with respect to another link. Example is this one, distance sliding inside the cylinder and tail stock and the degrees of freedom of a sliding pair is 1. Okay. And uh, one more image you can see, the same thing whatever I explained. Uh, I can say a rectangular block or a square block, so this white color. It is having a square hole, and inside this uh, rectangular block, there is a square bar which is sliding. You can see the direction, sliding direction. Okay. If the cross section is in the form of circle, it can rotate as well as it can slide. Since the cross section is uh, in the form of square, square shape, it can only slide. There is no rotary motion. Is that clear? If it is clear, I'll go to the next one. Yeah, the same figure, whatever it was there in the previous, it is the same thing. So, in the examination, you can now uh, I'll draw this one. Okay. Give the examples and show the elements. So, square bar is a element A, a kinematic link A. This uh, rectangular block is a element B, our kinematic link B. You can take a rough diagram. If it is clear, I'll go to the next one. Anyhow, I'll share this notes. So you can only take a rough tag. Okay, the second classification uh, under the first criteria so is a turning pit. You can give the example of a fan which is going to rotate with respect to the ceiling. So with respect to the roof, the fan is having a rotary motion. So it cannot move up and down. It can only have a rotary motion. So I can call uh, this link as a turning plate. Okay. Then uh, so this is also a windmill type of uh, craft. Okay, paper craft you can say. So it is also having a rotary motion. And this also windmill. Okay. Windmill is having a rotary motion. Correct. And uh, so this is also example of a turning page. Now I will consider uh, again uh, a square block or a rectangular block okay. and okay. 
So in this case, uh, I'll consider a rectangular block which is having a square hole. Okay, it is having a square hole, and inside that square, sorry, this is a circular hole. This green color is a rectangular block having a circular hole. Okay, inside that uh, circular hole. So please uh, mute your audio. Anyone, I think, uh, Omkar, uh, Omkar is there. Please mute your audio. Please wait for a minute. Little disturbance is there. So in this case, since the cross section area of the hole and the shaft is a is a circle, so what is the kind of motion? It is a turn. But it will be having a collar. But uh, uh, better I'll show this example. Okay. So so this is a fixed block. Okay. This is a block. Uh, this is uh, the form of a square shape. It is having a circular hole. Inside the circular hole, I have inserted a shaft. Okay, so I can call this uh, fixed block as a kinematic link B, and this shaft as kinematic link A. There are two kinematic links. Okay, they are connected in such a way that. Okay, also I, I'll provide a stopper. This is a stopper or a collar. Okay, with respect to this shaft, so that I, I can avoid the sliding motion. Because I want to call this as a, as a turning pair, it means uh, kinematic link A, that is a shaft, can only rotate. It should not slide. And only I can call it as a turning pair. Otherwise, it will become a combination of both sliding and uh, turning pair. Okay. So to avoid the uh, linear motion towards left and right, I'm, I have provided a collar or a shaft. Okay. So it means the shaft is restricted to rotate only. Can only rotate. It cannot slide. Okay. So this is the example. You can take this uh, rough figure. A circular shaft with collars on a circular hole. If you want the definition, you can take this. When the two elements or links of a pair are connected in such a way that one link can only rotate. This word is important. Can only rotate about the fixed axis with respect to another link. Example is a crankshaft. The journal bearing. Okay, so we consider a bearing inside the bearing. A uh, crankshaft or a shaft will be inserted. Okay, it will be provided with the collars. It can only rotate. It cannot have a sliding motion. Okay, and what about the cycle of wheels turning over the axles? With respect to the axle, the wheels of a bicycle can only rotate. There will not be any a linear motion with respect to the axle, not with respect to the ground. And one more word for this turning pair is a uh, revolute pair. I can call this turning pair as a revolute pair. Okay, revolute pair or uh, turning pair both are same. So again, it's the same figure. Since the shaft A can only rotate with respect to the uh, fixed block B, so the degrees of freedom is again one. It cannot have a linear motion either towards left, right, front, and back. Can only rotate. It is restricted to rotate. So I can call this as a uh, degrees of freedom as a one. You can take the rough diagram of this one. Please take a rough diagram. I'll go to the next one that is a rolling pitch. Let's consider a, a wheel. So this is having a, a rolling motion. It means it is having a combination of a translator motion. This wheel is moving in a forward direction. 
as well as it is rotating about its own axis. You can see, so the wheel is having both rotary motion as well as it is moving in a forward direction with respect to the earth. So how can you uh, call it as a rolling? Rolling is nothing but a combination of rotary motion okay, about the fixed axis, about the shaft as well as as well as it is a translation motion. Okay. And one more example is this. It is rolling. It is rotating also and it is also moving in a forward direction. In this case the skating, the wheels, okay, with respect to the earth surface, it is rolling also, it is moving in a forward direction also. So again the bicycle wheels with respect to the earth surface. Okay. When is with respect to the axle or the shaft, it is a turning plane. But when you consider with respect to the earth, okay, it is rolling also as well as it is rotating also as well as it is moving in a forward direction. Okay. And consider a, a ball also, a golf ball or a tennis ball or a cricket ball. So it means the kind of motion is rolling. Okay. So when you consider a, a roller bearing, okay or ball bearing inside the shafts or bearings so they will be rotating about its own axis as well as the center of this shaft okay. the ball bearing is uh, rolling with respect to its own axis as well as with respect to the axis of the shaft so I will give the figure of this one uh, rolling figure uh, this is a uh, cylindrical uh, bearing you can see or a roller bearing. So this is the shaft, okay? This is the shaft and this is the inner race or you can say inner ring and the outer ring. Between these two rings there will be a roller or you can say a ball bearing also. Okay? It means it, it will rotate about its own axis as well as it can rotate about this axis. It means it is having uh, two degrees of freedom. Okay? It is a combination of rolling as well as sliding motion. It will rotate about its own axis and it will move, it will slide with respect to this sharp axis. Please take this figure uh, after I will give the definition. Okay. It means when the two links or two kinematic elements of a pair are connected in such a way that one link can only roll. Okay, can only roll over another fixed link. The pair is known as rolling pair. Examples: ball bearing, roller bearings, and the gear tooth, and the wheel rolling on a flat surface. Okay, since it is having a combination of a linear motion as well as a turning motion, so I can call the degrees of freedom as two. So these in example also write in the same manner. First definition example degrees of freedom then comes a uh, figure the same figure so this is a roller bearing so this is a shaft and only will get a pull marks so please take a rough diagram of this uh, roller bearing which comes under rolling pair pair means it is a combination of two links okay and the Based on the type of motion, I can call whether it is a sliding or a turning or a rolling. Pitch. So I will take another five to ten minutes. I uh, will try to complete the screw pair and as well as spherical pair. class I'll share this uh, PDF also. I'll go to the next one. The screw bit. Okay. And consider the nut and bolt. Okay. 
So this bolt is one element and the bolt is nut. This bolt is one element and nut is one more element. So it is combination of two links in such a way that one link is moving with respect to another with the help of screw threads. Okay. So the nut is rotating with respect to this bolt with the help of the screw threads and such combination I can call it as a screw thread. So again one more the shaft which is having the threads around its periphery okay and this also one more element which is having the internal threads. So in this case it is a rotating as well as uh, it is having a linear motion but I cannot call it as a rolling because uh, we are taking the help of screw threads to, uh, to get a motion. Okay. So hence the combination of these two links I can call it as a screw thread. Okay. So this is the same example. This is a bolt which is having a thread around its periphery. I can call this as a kinematic link A and this is the nut. Okay. So this is a kinematic link B. The combination of this nut and bolt and the threads so comes under screw thread. So if you want the definition you can take this way. The two elements of a pair are connected in such a way that one element or a kinematic link can, can turn or rotate about the other element with the help of screw threads. So then such arrangement I can call it as a screw thread. The example is a motion of a bolt inside the nut. Let's screw of a lathe machine with the nut. Since uh, in this case uh, this bolt will be having a rotary motion as well as a, a linear motion. The degrees of freedom is 2. Okay. So this is important. This sentence, these points are important. First definition, example, degrees of freedom, then finally failure. Okay. So lastly, I'll go to the spherical phase. Whether I can show uh, example. So just consider a ball. Okay. A spherical ball which is inserted in a socket. Okay. So this combination I can, I can call as a spherical tube. If you want to imagine, you can imagine uh, the mirror of a car or a, or a bike. Okay. So you can see the joint between the mirror and this uh, link. Okay. The type of joint or a pair is a spherical tube. You'll be having a, a ball inside this mirror or inside this element and the mirror will be having a socket. The mirror will be having a socket of this kind okay? and this element will be having a ball like this. It means, uh, so this is also the same, uh, one more example. Okay? The arms of a robot, they are connected with this uh, forearm with the help of a spherical field. The kind of joint will be of this kind. You will be having a socket and this bolt. So in this case, uh, this ball can rotate about the z-axis. So it can have a complete rotary motion about z-axis. If you are considering to consider the three axis x, y, z, about the z-axis it can it can rotate. It, it can have complete rotary motion. Also, about x-axis it can only have a semi-rotary in front and back, front and back, okay. and also it can have a left and right motion with respect to y-axis. With respect to x-axis it can have a, a left and right motion or a front and back motion. Also with respect to y-axis it can have a semi-rotary motion. And about the z-axis, about the z-axis it can rotate or swivel. It means the degrees of freedom for this kind of pair is three. One complete rotary motion and two semi-rotary, front and back and left and right. Example is a, a mirror of a bike or a car. It will be combination of socket as well as the. Okay. So just take a definition. When two elements or kinematic links of a pair are connected in such a way that one element having a spherical shape, that is a uh, ball, it will turn inside a socket. The, the, such kind of motion is called as a swivel. swivel. Okay. When the two elements of a pair are connected in such a way that one element having a spherical shape 
filter are several about the other fixed one okay. is a ball element one more one is a socket element as i said the degrees of freedom is 3 it can have one complete rotation about the z axis and two semi rotary motion with respect to x and y axis there is no linear motion at all so i think you have uh, seen the joystick when you know playing your games with respect to the computer in the initial days you will be having a joystick okay to control the motion of a game so that joint is again comes under spherical plane ball and socket joint okay this is uh, same same so this is one element that is a ball and one more is socket so i'll complete the uh, i'll wind up the today's class uh, in the next class in the next class uh, so this is the same the robotic arms okay the type the kind of joint is again spherical you can take a rough diagram of this please take a minute and take this rough diagram and uh, in the next class i'm going to cover a lower pair and a higher pair based on the type of contact between two elements there are two types lower pair and higher pair so please if any doubts please let me know otherwise you can uh, message in the chat box any doubts so if it is clear so uh, please give your attendance by mentioning your roll number and name in the chat box and please uh, join the next class okay okay thank you